So in this video, we are going to learn how to send telegram messages from MySQL. So if you are getting data from multiple sources and adding that data in MySQL and you want to send a notification to your team members on telegram, this automation is going to help you a lot. So in this automation, whenever a new row of data will be added in our MySQL table, automatically the same data will be sent as a message on our telegram group or our telegram channel to update our team members. In this way, you can add the data of new leads, some new projects, some new transaction or any kind of data from MySQL and you can send that to telegram channel to update your team members. If you want to know how you can set up this automation for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as MySQL to Telegram. And then just click on create. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first, we are going to connect our MySQL account, our MySQL database with Public Connect in the trigger window. So that every time a new row of data is added in our MySQL table, automatically the details of that newly added row will be received inside Public Connect. And after that, using Public Connect's automation, we are going to send the same new row of data on our Telegram group or Telegram channel as a new message automatically. So let's see how it is done. Now here in our trigger window in Choose app, search for MySQL. Just select it. And then in trigger event from this drop down, select new row in a table. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, in this section, we have to connect our MySQL account, our MySQL database with Public Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the username and password of our MySQL database. Then we have to enter the host. Then we have to select the database that from our MySQL account, which particular database we want to connect. And then we have to enter the port as well. So if you have created your MySQL account, you must have all of these details. Just enter these details over here and then just click on save to connect MySQL with Public Connect. Right now in this video, I'm just going to select the existing connection which I have already made and then just click on save. And after clicking on save, here you can see that a MySQL account will get connected with Public Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the table name. So here in this drop down, you can see in my database, I have created two tables named as Insta Post and New Lead. And in this drop down, you can see the list of same tables. Let me show you. We will just go to this database and here you can see there are only two tables which I have created. So whatever tables you have created in your database, you will see a list of all the tables in this drop down. And from here, guys, you have to select the table from which you want to get the data, from which you want to get the details of a new row being added. So I have this table named as new lead and from various sources, data of a new lead has been added to this particular MySQL table. And I want that whenever a new row of data is added in this table, automatically the details of that newly added row should be shared on our Telegram channel or Telegram group automatically. So here from this drop down, I'm going to select this particular table. After selecting our table name, the next thing it asks us is the unique column. So in this drop down here, you can see a list of all the columns which we have created in this table can be seen over here. We have ID, first name, last name, email, and the mobile number. So here you can see a list of all the columns over here. Out of this, we have to select a column which will have a unique value. So every time a new row of data will be added, the row or the column of ID will have a unique value. Every row will have a unique ID. The first name, last name, email, mobile number can be the same, but every new row will have a unique ID. So this first row is having an ID zero. The next row is going to have an ID one, then it's going to have a two. So every row will have a unique ID. So we have to select a column which will have a unique ID. On what basis Public Connect will differ that data as a different row. So I'm going to select ID as a unique column over here. 
Right now, I am selecting ID, but instead of this, if you have created some other data, if you have added some other data in this table, you just have to select the column which has a unique ID. After selecting this, we just have to click on save and send test request. And when we click on save and send test request, details of the last row, the most recent row which was added in this table will be received inside Pavli Connect. So right now in this particular table here, you can see that we just have only one row of data. So when we will click on save and send test request, data of this row will be received inside Pavli Connect. But if you have added the data of multiple rows over here, then the data of the last row, the most recent row which we have added in MySQL will be received inside Pavli Connect. So just click on this save and send test request button and that data from MySQL will be received inside Pavli Connect. And yes, here you can see that in response received, you can see the exact same data. Here you can see the same ID, here you can see ID is zero. Then you can see the same first name and last name, demo user, same email address and the mobile number as well. So here the data from our MySQL database of a new row is been received inside Pavli Connect over here. You can see that in the trigger window. So the step one of setting up this automation is completed over here. Now after getting this data, what we want to do, we want to send the same data as a message on our Telegram channel. For that, we will just scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, search for Telegram. Just select it. After selecting Telegram bot over here, in action event from this drop down, select the action event as send a text message or reply. Then just click on connect and select add new connection over here. Now here guys, what we have to do, we have to connect our Telegram bot account, our Telegram bot with Pavli Connect. So to send messages on our Telegram group or our Telegram channel, first we have to create a bot in our Telegram account. And then we have to add that bot into the Telegram group or Telegram channel where we want to send the messages. After adding the bot, we also have to promote that bot to the admin of that particular group or channel. And after doing that, we have to connect that same bot over here with Pavli Connect by entering the API token of that bot. And then using that bot, we can send messages on our Telegram group or Telegram channel with the data of a new row which was added in MySQL. So let's see how you create a bot in Telegram. Just go to your Telegram account and search for bot father over here. Just select bot father with this official tick and then just click on the start button. After clicking on start, just enter slash new bot. Just send it. So we are asking bot father to create a new bot. In return, bot father is asking us to give this bot a name. So I would like to name my bot as MySQL bot. One, two, one. So this is the name which I want to give to my bot. After this, it is also asking me to enter a unique username for this bot. And that unique username should end with underscore bot. So I will be using the same name and then I'll enter underscore bot. Or let me add another number over here. You can choose any username of your choice. You just have to make sure that it ends with underscore bot or bot at the last. Just send it. And this is it. Just now using bot father, we have created a telegram bot in our telegram account. And after creating this bot here, bot father has given us the chat link of this bot and also the API token of this bot. So we just have to copy this API token of this newly created bot from here. Just copy it, go to public connect and paste it over here. So using this API token, the bot which we have just now created in our telegram account will be connected with public connect. Now after entering this API token, just click on save and then we will see this bot will be connected with Pavli Connect. Now using this bot, we can send messages on our Telegram group or Telegram channel. But before that, we have to add this bot which we have created MySQL bot in our Telegram group or Telegram channel. So let me create a new group over here. Click on this edit button. I'll just create a new group and I will just enter or add this same bot which we have created just now. MySQL bot 1212. So this is the bot which we have just now created and let me create a new group over here. So the group name will be for example, Pabli MySQL. This will be the name of the group, just a random name. Click on next and this is done. Just now I have created a new group in my Telegram account. If you want, you can add this same bot to your existing Telegram group or Telegram channel. And after doing this, what we have to do, 
as i told you we have to promote this bot to the admin level of this same account so here using telegram mobile application or desktop application you can do that so using my telegram mobile application i'm just going to promote this bot to admin and it is done i have promoted this bot to the admin level of this telegram group now after this we can send messages using this bot on our telegram group or telegram channel after creating the admin of this group we will get back to public connect and then here in our public connect action window after connecting our bot this action step is asking us for the chat id now here guys we have to enter the chat id of the telegram group or telegram channel on which we want to send the messages so here we have created this telegram group and after creating or opening this group in our telegram web here in the url section you can see this id this is the chat id of this particular telegram group you just have to copy this chat id from here go to public connect and paste it over here in this way we are telling this bot that in which particular chat we want the bot to share the messages send the messages after creating the chat id after entering the chat id here it is asking us for the text message that what is the message which we want to send and here you can create any message of your choice for example i want my message to be hello team we have received a new lead name email and mobile number okay so this is the kind of message i want to share on my telegram group whenever a new row of data is added in my sql so in my sql i am adding the data of a new lead and we are just taking an example of this you can add basically any kind of data of your choice which you want to share on telegram and on my telegram account on my telegram group i want to send this kind of message hello team we have received a new lead and here guys i want to mention the data or the lead details which we have received from my sql in the trigger window so one by one all of these details of a new lead of a new user which we have received one by one we are going to map this data map these details over here in this message field and guys the process of mapping is very simple simply click on this field like in front of name i want to mention the name of the new lead so just click here and from this drop down here you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from my sql out of all of these responses select this response of post name and it will be mapped then just add a space and from the drop down select the response of last name in this way whatever data whatever details of a new lead we are going to receive from my sql a message with the same details will be sent on our telegram group after name follow the same process of mapping for email and mobile number as well from this drop down select these details and map it so in this way you can basically create any text message of your choice which you want to send and you can map any data which we have received from trigger window in public connect in this action step of message after entering the text message after creating this text message it is asking us message thread id and reply to message id so both of these fields are not mandatory not required so we can ignore these fields for now then it is asking us disable notification that do we want to send notifications to the users for this particular message i don't want to send the notification so i'm selecting no then if you are sending some kind of links or url that do we want to show the web page preview do we want to disable the web page preview so i want that if i am sending some kind of links or urls in the message i don't want to disable the web page preview so that's why i have selected no over here then it is asking us allow sending without reply so i have selected no the help text says pass through if the message should be sent even if the specified reply to message is not found so using this you can basically reply to some existing message on your telegram chat then it is asking us protect content pass mode button label and button url so all of these fields are not mandatory except this pass mode so here while sending the message we have two different modes either we can send an html based html mode message or we can send a markdown type of message so right now i'm selecting html over here and after entering all of these details and selecting all the required fields of our choice just click on this save and send test request button now when we click on save and send test request here you can see that we have received some response and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that the data which we have mapped the basically the message which we have created over here in this text message section this message is been sent on this chat whose chat id we have entered so let's check it we will go to our telegram account 
And yes, we have entered the chat ID of this particular Telegram group over here in Public Connect. And here you can see that on the same group, a message is been sent or shared by our Telegram bot. The same bot which we have just now created in our Telegram account and connect it with Public Connect in the action window. The message says, hello team, we have received a new lead. Name is a demo user. This is the email address and this is the mobile number. So we have the exact same message whose body we have created inside Public Connect. And in this message, you can see the same details which we have entered of a new lead in our MySQL database. So here guys, you can see that the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever a new row of data will be added in the table in our MySQL database, automatically the same data will be sent as a message on our Telegram group or Telegram channel. Now here guys, let me tell you one more important thing. The connection of MySQL and Public Connect is a polling based connection. And in this type of connection, Public Connect will check for new data, new row of table data in our MySQL database every one hour. So every one hour, Public Connect will go to a MySQL database, check whether a new row of data or new rows of data is added in that database. If we have added some new data, some new rows, it will get that data and this automation workflow will trigger and one by one, it will start processing that data using this automation. And one by one, the data, the new row of data will be sent as a message on our Telegram group or Telegram channel. So here guys, after setting up this automation, we should let's test this automation workflow once as well. We will go to our MySQL database and let's add a new row of data. I'll go to insert. I'll just enter the details of a new user. For example, test user. This is the name. This is the email address. And then this is the mobile number. So I'm just entering the mobile number and this is it. Just click on go. And yes, here you can see that just now a new row of data has been added to this table in MySQL. And we will see within one hour, a message with the same details will be shared on our Telegram group or Telegram channel. So we just have to wait for an hour over here. Okay, so we have successfully waited for an hour. Now let's check our Telegram account. And yes, guys, here you can see that within one hour, we have received a new message on our Telegram account. The message says, hello team, we have received a new lead. The same message which we have created in Public Connect. And then here in message, you can see the data of the same user, the same details which we have added as a new row in our MySQL table. So here you can see that we have successfully tested this automation and this automation is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pabli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this same workflow into your own Pabli Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Public Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Public Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion, and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.